our voices were ignored, says some West Hills homeowners. When it came to turning the quality in into a shelter, some neighbors say they were left out of the conversation and collaboration process, and this project isn't something they want in their neighborhood. Some people living in the West Hills neighborhood say they've been against the Catalyst Project since Mayor Nadine Woodward and City Council allowed Catholic Charities to buy the Quality Inn in August. I mean, right when we found out, um, and we did a little research on it, and I found out that they were going to allow them to do drugs on the property, and then I was not at all for this. Catholic Charities tells Creme 2 News there will be rules to live on the property. For the last four months, disgruntled neighbors have continued to share concerns. Outside City Hall, at public meetings and today outside the Catalyst Project building. Look what happened out there at Camp Hope. They went into that neighborhood and stole everything that wasn't tied down. You're going to do the same to us here? West Hills protesters came together to rally outside the shelter and let people know they are not happy with this project. I'm not in favor of all this money being spent in secret without due process, first off. And then I'm also um, disappointed that the money's not being invested in our community and our neighborhood. It's a forgotten neighborhood and it would be better to have more money invested in the neighborhood and things that make it better, like schools. It'd be great if my son could go to a public school in my neighborhood. Protesters set up just 30 minutes before Governor Jay Inslee and other state leaders were scheduled to tour the facility. Signs and shouts directly address these visiting agencies. Even though some people are against the project coming to West Hills, protesters say they aren't against solutions based on community collaboration and conversation. You have to work with the community for a solution for everybody. I would like to see city council engage more people that work in public health um, to help them, guide them, or people from other cities that have solved these problems and go forward that way. But that's not what's happening in this town, and every year it's getting worse. With or without neighborhood support, the Catalyst Project has no signs of future delay or slowing down. Catholic Charity says it's looking to begin to move people in by the end of this week. And despite the project moving forward, protesters I spoke to today say this won't be the last time you see them. In Spokane, Janelle Finch, Crime 2 News.